What's happening? Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googleicious for all the Google goodness that we can pack inside of a show. Let's get to it, and smartwatches are still the hot topic right now after an interview with Android Wear execs and CNET revealed their plans to make Google's wearable platform even smarter. Now, Android Wear's director of engineering, David Singleton, told CNET that an upcoming update will bring Bluetooth compatibility to pair a Bluetooth headset with your watch. So, uh, no more of that talking to the wrist stuff on unless you like doing that. They're also going to be introducing GPS support for the platform for devices that include GPS hardware. An example to take advantage of this is if you're going for a run, you could leave your phone at home and let the smartwatch record your data and sync it back up with your phone after your run alone, once you're home, eating a scone. Now, a future release will also allow third parties to develop new watch faces and make them available for download at the Google Play Store. You'll see these updates come out before the end of the year, according to the Android Wear team. So, why do we keep talking about smartwatches? Well, Samsung recently announced their Curved Gear S smartwatch with a curved 2-inch Super AMOLED display running Samsung's Tizen OS, and they're still expected to announce their standalone Gear Solo watch that has its own SIM card at their September 3rd event. That's five, count them, five different wearables officially announced by Sammy in the past year with a sixth on its way. Now, Motorola's 360 watch gets its time to shine with official details this week at its September 4th announcement. LG officially unveiled their first smartwatch with a round face called the G-Watch R with a 1.3-inch OLED display that's a full 360 degrees and doesn't have a dead space for ambient light sensors or display drivers like the Moto 360. The G-Watch R will go on sale in early Q4 of this year with no price point given yet. Now, Sony will also be launching two of its own Android Wear wearables at IFA 2014 with the Sony Smartwatch 3 that will look similar to Samsung's Gear 2 Neo and their next health and fitness-based wearable, the Smart Band Talk, with a curved e-ink display. And don't forget about Asus. Their CEO already teased a sub-200 smartwatch called the Zen Watch, running Android Wear with more details at IFA as well. So, yes, we will keep talking about wearables. All right, shifting gears over to drones, we know Amazon has lofty goals for using flying drones to deliver goods, but Google recently revealed they've been working on a delivery system of their own for the past two years called Project Wing. The team took out Project Wing for a test in Queensland, Australia, because it has more progressive laws when it comes to using drones. Now, their priority isn't to deliver products to customers, even though they'll be able to do that. Instead, they want to use the drones in times of disaster relief for situations where cities may become nearly inaccessible. The Project Wing drone can deliver anything that weighs up to 22 pounds. The drones are pre-programmed with the destination and are then left to fly themselves automatically. And let's just make this clear, these drones look pretty badass compared to Amazon's wimpy little guys that could be taken down by a little hummingbird. All right, in a couple quick stories, Recode reports that the makers of the Android gaming console Ouya are in talks to sell the company with several big Chinese and U.S. players in the mix, including Google and Amazon. Talks are still in the very early phases. Ouya was an innovative idea, but its lack of broad software support and exclusive titles that people really cared about hurt its chances to become a player in the gaming world. And Google will rebrand Google Enterprise as Google for Work. Think of it as the same service with a friendlier name to resonate with more small businesses and anyone using Google services for work. All right, we'll have tons of news in next week's episode from all the major announcements, including Samsung, Motorola, LG, Sony, you name them, we'll have them. And you can always email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time for some more of that Googleicious. Goodlicious.